Nya Haro. Are you prepared for the Limit One Festival? Nya Haro. For those of you who want to net deck or find improvement, here is my festival deck profile. I see a mix of Sword Soul, Tang Yi, and Punk as main monsters. The concept is use them as material for synchro. But since we run lot of level 4 XYZ, let's go over some key card explanation. I will skip over Sword Soul and Tang Yi part, since you probably already know. Astro Kuyubo allows us to show an extra deck XYZ, special summon and mark the level for XYZ. Madam Spider, Wax as Tuner, and also Draw Engine. Say I mean, same reason as above. Bunch Level 4s, again bring out a Synchro or Level 4 XYZ material without consuming your normal summon. As always deck link will be provided in the description. I will also make a follow up video during the event, so look forward to that. Orbital Highlander, basically the card made for this event. Since we can only have one of each monster, this easy satisfy his summon condition with big stats. His destroy effect require having monster with no same name in graveyard. Don't you dare say it. Boba! 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 Oi! I am just kidding. Boira's effect allow us to special summon her when unnegated monster is on field. There are 10 ways we can special summon her in the stack. This doesn't even include opponent's negate effect, and secondary allow us to apply different effect when opponent special summon. Another easy to satisfy summon condition, since we be dumping materials for synchro on XYZ, his effect allow us to deny and destroy an opponent monster attribute. Special summon punk from handle deck. Since Utopic is rank 4 XYZ, we can do funny OTK combined with Utopic double on this, which is also such able for 10,000 damage. Since show card diversity is huge, plus lot of people will be running same good card. These are generally good drop cards. For example, I bet lot of people will be running Roy Jiki, Lightning Storm and Duster, which is bold. Why? That easily satisfies Starlight Road condition that gives us negate and special summon Stardust Dragon. Trap cards we can reuse like Rose Wind and Tidal Light are very good. These give us even more chance to summon Boiras. You sound very weird. Such able by Punk included. Extra deck is mix of go first and go second synchro and XYZ. You get to pick which one depending on your starting hand. If you find yourself missing some cards, a good way to go is filter your card pool by rarity and cards you own. Then dig for cards you think is super good standalone, or good substitute synergy for the missing card. Super strong. Double or nothing. Go first XYZ. I feel this event people would run lot of spell trap, which makes his effect super strong. If you can keep him on board long enough, that's basically infinite draw and deny monster. His vanish effect, which you will always have because that's the summon condition, allow you to dodge removal or negate. Very good card to have in level 4 heavy deck, allow us to easy revive graveyard XYZ and into Draco future. Run on. Now let's go into some gameplays. Dual start. Special summon Shana when controlling, no effect monster, although we don't need it. Good for testing whether opponent has negate or not. Special summon Ashuna under same condition. Normal summon punk. Such dangerous gay. Using boss to synchro summon Barney. Since the event hasn't started at the time of this video, this match is done through custom game. Thanks to Esoteric for helping test. By the way, I am the player on top. Still haven't figured out why custom game replays sometimes show up on top and bottom. Since we have two negate set, use Barney to stop Duster. Looks like opponent also playing mix variant of Soul Soul. Long you I'm dumping Soul Soul or Warren to special summon plus token. Synchro into Chen Yin. Trigger Long Yuan, use the Synchro Material Effect, apply 1200 burn. Trigger Portal Prosperity, banish 6 extra deck cards, and search. Since card is banished, trigger Chain Ying Effect to banish opponent, on field and graveyard card. Chain Lost Link to negate and reduce attack by half. This also kills Chain Ying Effect, which boosts attack and reduce opponent by 100 for each card in banished. This includes both players banish pile, quick dangerous gate to negate more Yi. Since opponent has negated monster on field, chain bubble to special summon. Boba! Boba! Stop! Get some help! Note that lost wind effect is permanent, so passing turn won't help keeping chain Ying alive. Chain bow! Iris effect when opponent special summon. In this case, it is link. Destroy a card. Chain lost wind to the special summon set it on field again. 
on to the next game. This game opponent is going first. Trigger viral effect before map search. Opponent trigger it anyway as cost to sink to graveyard. Then use monster reborn to get it back as a way to dodge previous negate. This is a smart play. It was later revealed that the field spell is Pacific City, which infinite regenerates high stat level. A water token. Trigger is dragon prison to grab viral before getting destroyed. Note that we cannot use Scare Summit here, because Graveyard has no Soul Soul Monster, and since we don't control Synchro, we can Special Summon War on either. And no you're not getting the Field Spell. Weep. Special Summon this year, and link into Monk. Trigger Bishwa effect to bounce. Note that I am not sure about opponent deck and what banished. Opponent still had normal summon and could chose to tie a banish Bishwa for synchro. But because I had none effect monster and Shana in graveyard, if my mango destroyed, I would be able to trigger its effect. Special summon a destroyed monster and destroy opponent card. So choosing to bounce was a good play. While we talk here just went through a very common soul soul combo, trigger this here and bounce opponent when controlling non-effect soul soul token. Since we have another banished cast in both fields, synchro into chain game for the massive damage boost, attack for Rizzo. Thanks for the game, and thank you for watching.